When I was at school, there was a lot of pressure to go to university. It's what you had to do. So I bowed to pressure and followed their advice. And six months into it, I realised this isn't the right thing for me. And it wasn't what I wanted to do. It wasn't what I was best suited at. And I decided a trade was a much better path. So I had a look around and thought electrical would probably suit me the best. So I enrolled in a pre-voc and got experience to a bit of domestic, a bit of commercial. And then I did my two weeks work experience in uh, automotive manufacturing and thought, this is it, industrial is where I want to be. So I finished the course and through the company that I had the work experience, they pointed me in the direction of AIGTS and I applied and was successful enough to get an apprenticeship. They told me that I'd be going to Sage Automation as my host company and I came down and had a look at what they do and thought, this is a really good company to get into and have been there ever since. Uh, when I first started at Sage, I thought I'd be doing all the ladder carrying, floor sweeping and all the sort of really average grunt jobs. And I did have to do a bit of that, but they were very supportive and quickly got me on the road to learning a few things, learning some skills and making me useful. At Sage, I'm lucky enough to work in a lot of industries where you get to see the processes that make the everyday products that we use in our homes, on our roads, you know, water, infrastructure, power, all the end products that we take for granted day to day, we see what goes on behind the scenes. My first year of my apprenticeship was completely based in the workshop panel wiring, where we learnt how to read drawings and the theories behind the applications. And then from second year onwards, we moved on to site and did site install, maintenance, uh, commissioning and modifications. I think the biggest shock to the system with an apprenticeship is right from day one, you're thrust in amongst tradesmen who have been doing it for years and the level of accountability and maturity that's expected is just a lot more than I was used to with you know, school and entering to uni and so on. You sort of babied a little, but this is day one. You're an adult now, time to act like one. I was lucky enough to get the opportunity to travel quite a bit with my apprenticeship. You'd see how things were built back in Adelaide and then you'd also travel out, install them, commission them and see the whole picture of how it all goes together. Both AIGTS and SAGE were very supportive and pushed me to really better myself and encouraged me to do things that I probably wouldn't have done otherwise, such as the World Skills Competitions, the GTA Training Awards and the South Australian Training Awards as well. At the end of fourth year, I was fortunate enough to be nominated and win the AIGTS Chairman's Award, which has been not just a great career boost, but a really good confidence boost and made me feel proud about what I'd achieved in the last four years. Since finishing my apprenticeship, I've taken a job as a site supervisor with Sage Automation and I work at a number of different job sites for a number of different clients and I've basically been given a lot more responsibility than when I was finishing my fourth year as an apprentice and now I have to look after other tradesmen and other AIGTS apprentices. So I'm working on my advanced diploma, electrical engineering at TAFE and I'm hoping to have that completed within the next few years. I'm currently building a Puma Clubman, it's a Lotus 7 replica kit car. I like working with my hands and it helps me unwind. I get my challenges during the day and during the night I can plot away and keep myself occupied and achieve something at the same time still. I think the biggest thing that I've gotten out of this apprenticeship since I started was just the, the character building. I feel like I'm a more confident, more accountable, more responsible person than when I started. Um, along with the technical skills, I think it's just a lot of life skills that you pick up along the way. I think trades are a great challenging and rewarding career path. They offer a lot of uh, versatility and a lot of future career prospects. And there's a lot of incentives from the government and a lot of good companies out there like AIGTS that will help support you and turn you into a better tradesman and a better person. Mm -hmm.